Hi, welcome to the first day of our 10 day challenge to save you, guess what? A thousand dollars in 10 days. Can you believe that? So today's topic is going to be what? Mindset. You know, mindset comes from like different situations that you have encountered. For example, it could be your family spending habits, your parents, your um, maybe your siblings, your relatives, and even friends. Because sometimes your mindset has developed along the way in terms of how you perceive money and how you use money to like support your maybe times that you feel emotional and you're trying to feed those you know, those feelings up with something that makes you feel good. Because guess what? I've done that many of times. So sometimes you really want to think about what does like your mindset for spending money truly comes from? Does it come from somewhere deep within where you feel maybe perhaps less than or, you know, um, you feel like you want to keep up with everybody else um, does it come from the way you grew up and the way your parents might have spent money? You know, where does this really truly stem from? Does it really come from you or has some of this been kind of ingrained in you? And so your perception of money is based on that particular mindset, that mind space and those behaviors. So I want you to take some time to really examine your mindset and your relationship with money and how it has impacted your decision making with making your purchases, sporadic purchase to Amazon. So I got to tell you a secret, okay? When COVID hit, guess what? Felicia had to cut down all of her spending like because I used to have a UPS mailbox. I had everything shipped there. But since we were at home and my husband can see all the packages, you know what I'm saying? I had to regroup on my mindset and my relationship with my spending habits. Who can relate to that? I'm sure you can. Uh, so I had to quit that habit quickly. And I started really thinking about like my relationship with money. Um, because I, I thought about it, you know, there have been times that I, I, instead of emotional eating, then I did some emotional spending. So sometimes you substitute one situation for the other and vice versa. So I just want you to take some time to do some re self-reflection. And let's be honest and have an honest moment with ourselves um, about your mindset and your relationship with money and how it's completely sometimes, you know, you know, you don't have the budget for something, but you buy it anyway because you got it. I got to have it. I got to have it. So you want to start checking yourself about that mindset. So I will be back on another day to give you a fabulous tip about the next way to save $1,000 in 10 days. So I see you when I see you.